Welcome everyone. Today we are going to see how to finish the pot by using mill contour. First we need to set the MCS machine coordinate system as per our reference requirement and need to set select the workpiece and blank as per our plan and need to insert the operation. In this type we have a mill contour. We need to set the mill contour. In mill contour subtype we have a cavity mill, set level, streamline, contour area, fixed contour, all other thing. We plan for roughing for using cavity mill. Click OK. Normally cavity mill is used to roughing. Select the tools first. We can able to control the cut pattern also by clicking on path setting the cut pattern and step over tool percentage also we can able to control and maintain the depth of cut. And in cutting parameters we plan to add the stock. This cavity profile is mostly used for roughing concept only. So here we need to add the stock operation how much stock we need we, we now plan to one mm stock per side and generate the tool path now the ten tool path is generated with some error first you can see that the inside of pocket that engaging is not safer can we check on uh, verify now Here you can see that outer profile is missing based on follow path part pattern. When the same part we already finished by using mill planner concept. If you need to know that, the video is linked in description. Please check it out. Now you can see that we received the error of engaging is used. The too small to engage the tool because we have the right side the circular bars that inside the bore is not feasible to run in this setup so that only that error arrived. We can able to control that in uncutting moments of engagement also by clicking on cutting parameters and inside we have a engage tab we can able to control the every engage type of engage type diameter ramp angle height minimum clearance minimum rank ramp length all those things we can able to control the safer side tool engagement we can able to customize in this operation We changed the minimum ramping length. Here you can see the inside of the pocket. The last time we received the ramping lip plunge that part. Now we can get the circularly engage the tool path. This is the safest compared with previous. So this time we can able to control the tool path of engagement by using non-cutting parameters, the engaging concept. Here you can clearly see that the engaging in helix eng engagement is added to that by using arc. We can be able to customize the non cutting moments as per our requirement.
Now the side and wall and floor roofing is completed by using cavity mill. Now we plan to finish the tool path. By using the jet level concept, we need to select the cut area. We now we plan to finish the floor and wall at the same time on this part. We need to select the tools which tool we plan for the finishing. We can able to control the depth of cut also. Now we plan to generate. Now we got the wall finishing only. Only we get wall finishing. We can able to control add the floor finishing also by clicking cutting parameters in there connections the tab available there we need to set the cut between the levels now we plan to generate here we get the wall and finished and floor also finished so which we can able to control the finishing strategies as per our requirement by using z level concept now we plan to verify here you can see the wall and floor at all these things finished at the same time by a single strategy. Normally the Z level profile is planned to finish the walls and fixed contour is planned to finish and floor. In this case we can able to control the floor and wall finish by using Z level. Here now plan to finish the pocket inside by using Z level profile. Generate the tool path. Here we can see that the tool is engaged in ramping. It's not comfortable for to make the tool cut. Here you can see that this is not for say for say tool path. So we plan to change that by clicking non-cutting parameters. Here we can able to control the engaging and retraction all those things are not cutting parameters. So now we plan to change that minimum ramp length. We plan to reduce the minimum ramp length and click OK. Generate the tool path. Here you can see that the tool path of engagement is changed. Here we get the safest engagement of tool path. Now we plan to finish the cylindrical board by using Z level strategy. The same day we plan to select the Z level profile and click OK. Need to set select the cut area which area we win we need to get cut tool we need to select the per our plan depth of cut can be able to control it generate the tool path now we got the tool path need to verify the tool path Here we get now we plan to verify the whole operations. First, we did turn cavity mill operation for roughing with the side or numum start and floor or numum start. After that roughing, we plan to finish the wall and floor by using Z level concept. Then we finish the pocket and cylindrical board. Now 
in the same part we plan to finish the tool by using mill planner concept you can see that that video link in description please check it out